Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. In this video, we're going to take a look at what my i5-6400 CPU can achieve in terms of performance and FPS in CMU 1.11.3. I'm not going to bore you with every single setting, so I'll make sure that's in the description below. But long story short, I'm going to be using the dual core recompiler. So let's just jump right into the gameplay and take a look. If you are sensitive to spoilers, we are going to go to just about every major location. So if that type of thing bothers you, maybe this is not for you. So let's dive right in. We'll start our journey in the Shrine of Resurrection and then we will go on to the Great Plateau. As you can see, we are currently above 40 FPS um, as indicated in the top left corner. I'm using Fraps to show you the frame rate. And of course, this is a performance that I've never seen before on my particular CPU. The Great Plateau has always been one of the most challenging areas in the game, along with, you know, towns and villages and certain stables. But we are getting a fairly consistent 40 plus FPS. Now, as you can see, I'm not using any graphic packs. So visually, the game is not as pleasing as we are used to. But for those of you who are purists for the Wii U version, the default resolution of course is 720 and these are the colors you can expect. So for those of you who are very much devoted to the artistic vision, this is the vision of the game. Now as you saw just there, there was a micro stutter or a hitch you can say and this is something that I can't seem to get rid of no matter what the variety of settings I select and it is something that I do find very very annoying. To this day I am yet to still see or find a complete solution to the stutters. Moving on to Goron City, once again performance is greatly increased from CME 1.11.2. Now of course this is not a direct comparison video, this is just focusing on CME 1.11.3 and my i5-6400 processor. Now, as I say, the stuttering and hitching, there are many different arguments to be said here. Some people believe it could be the shader cache, some people believe it could be the hardware, some people believe it could be FPS++, it could be a combination of all of those things. However, the greatest solution I ever seem to find is basically playtime. And what I mean by that is the more you play, the more the micro stutters seem to go away. You may have noticed some flickering in the lava. Now that was because the tile cache was on during this recording. Next up, we're going to visit Korok Forest. Now for me, this has always been one of the slightly more forgiving locations in the game in terms of performance. Yes, of course, very demanding, but not quite as demanding as some of the other towns or villages, particularly uh, Kakariko Village and Hatina Village. So similar to the other areas, we are hitting a good 40 plus FPS with a fairly consistent 50 actually in Korok Forest. Moving on and let me welcome you to Kakariko Village. Now the villages in Breath of the Wild have always been extremely intense on mid to low tier CPUs, often resulting in quite poor performance for anything from 15 to 25 FPS. But as you can see, I'm getting a fairly consistent 40, 40 plus in this area. Now this is absolutely stunning. Of course, I'm using the dual core recompiler, as I stated in the beginning of this video. And the reason I'm doing that is because on my particular system, the dual core recompiler just worked better for me. Whenever I tried the triple core recompiler, it just pushed my system that little bit too much to the point where it was basically unusable. If I tried to do anything other than play the game, the system would basically crash. An additional note, of course, is that when you are using threaded optimization in the NVIDIA control panel, it will push your system that little bit more if you can give it. Let's take a trip to the Telonayag Shrine, just on the hill next to Kakariko Village. I like this particular shrine for testing basically because it's just a, a big, open, fairly empty area. And shrines are often the ultimate way to test your theoretical peak in terms of FPS performance. Now, as you can see, I'm hitting 110. However, I'm recording in 60 FPS and the maximum frame rate on YouTube is also 60. So even if I did record above 60 and uploaded it, there's no way for you to view that anyway. 
here we are at the Hatino Tech Lab about to fly into Hatino Village. Now this is one of my favorite testing activities to do because it famously shows a lot of hitching and stuttering, especially when paragliding because of course this has become a bit of a feature of FPS++ and we'll get into that another time. However, when gliding into Hatino Village and then the village itself loading, there was very little hit on performance. We do see some hitching, we do see some stuttering, but the actual performance itself is still staggering. The dual core recompiler and the triple core recompiler on the right CPU that is, is absolutely incredible. At this point, we're starting to see a bit of a theme on my i5-6400, and that's a fairly stable 40 FPS in towns and villages. However, as we can see here, Hatino is being a bit more challenging than some of the other areas. But once again, anything that's 30 and above is fantastic. Let's say you find that your FPS is somewhat inconsistent. One thing I potentially do recommend is why not just locking your FPS to 30. Now that's easily done with the FPS++ pack, or you can also unlock it in the other direction so that you can go above 60, for example. But I think you would agree, anything above 30 is really spectacular given past performance. Here we are at the Hitino Ruins where we have quite a busy mixture of both structures and AI. Now this area has become synonymous with performance drops because of that combination of structure and AI. Now typically what will happen is the more AI that you kill, the performance should technically increase. But as we can also see at the same time, performance under this duress is the most stable we've ever seen it. Let me welcome you to the Gerudo Desert. This is an absolute classic when it comes to performance testing, purely because it's one of the easiest areas to achieve high FPS in. And we are seeing that now with a very easily achievable 60 plus FPS, even hitting 80 at times. But in this area, on a fairly moderate CPU, you should experience a fairly consistent 60 plus FPS. There's a number of reasons for this. I mean, look around, there is basically nothing to load. It's sand, a few enemies and a few structures. Now, very close to where I spawned in, there is a camp absolutely full of enemies. I was quite blown away with this particular section of gameplay purely because of the number of AI and effects and actions happening at the same time with very little dip in performance. For example, right now, look at the sheer number of AI on screen, enemy AI, and we are maintaining 50 FPS. Now, of course, the location of the Gerudo Desert does have a large impact on that, but even so, 1.11 points really is just stunning in terms of performance. Now, if we're talking about, for example, AMD FX chips and AMD GPUs, then yeah, you're probably still having a bad time. However, I've seen lots of positive feedback from Ryzen users. Following that, we find ourselves at the Dueling Peaks Stable. Now, this area is notoriously difficult to have any type of decent performance in on mid-tier CPUs. Now, of course, for the previous users who had something like a 7700K, they have always had quite good performance. Now, what we're seeing with those types of CPUs is that they're now hitting a fairly consistent 100 plus FPS. So my i5-6400, it sits much more in the middle. And as you can see, I'm hitting a fairly consistent 40 FPS in this unbelievably demanding area. Let me take you to the absolutely stunning Zora's Domain. Now, visually, this location is absolutely incredible. It's a beautiful place within the game. Performance-wise, Simu 1.11.3 is just consistently hitting it out the park. We are once again in a fairly demanding area and we are hitting above 40 FPS on an i5-6400. Now, of course, we aren't looking at graphs or 0.1 percentiles. However, what we are getting is a very realistic general worldview of some of the performance you can expect if you have a processor similar to mine. 
As we continue to explore the different locations that the Hyrule Kingdom has to offer, we are seeing again and again and again that this multi-core support that Simu 1.11.3 has introduced has just completely transformed the experience. So for example, for those of you who have been holding off playing Breath of the Wild, now would be a fantastic time to jump in. One thing that is important to mention, however, is that the feature is listed as unstable. So it is potentially buggy, it is potentially experimental, but the community feedback thus far has been incredibly positive. Another go-to point for me when testing performance is the central tower in Hyrule Field. Now I like to go to this flag mast and basically run to the tree directly in front of me in as straight a line as possible. Now of course this isn't particularly scientific or methodical but the, what you're trying to do is to, is, especially when you're doing a side by side comparison, you want to hopefully recreate similar conditions. Of course it's not ideal, it's not perfect, but it's not terrible either. And one of the ways you can do this, for example, if you want very, very similar conditions, you can light a fire or you can simply save. So if you save and load and save and load, the image side by side should theoretically be identical. Anyway, one thing I like to do is basically just run to the tree and watch the FPS. If I had to provide four must go to locations for your theoretical maximum FPS, even if it's just for fun, I would definitely recommend the Gerudo Desert, Hyrule Field, the Eldin Canyon region, and just about any shrine. And on the topic of shrines, where they are self-enclosed areas where performance can theoretically peak dependent on the hardware you have, this should also apply to the Master Trials DLC, which of course is basically a series of challenge rooms with very, very similar performance to shrines. So there it is, my performance in Breath of the Wild on my i5-6400 in Simu 1.11.3 using the Dual Core Recompiler. If you enjoyed this content, remember to leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe for more.